Today we're going to look at two not really known graphic cards, the E9173 and the E9260. I'm going to put that in that office PC with the i5-2500, 16 gig of memory. Welcome to Respawn PC, I'm Dunk, let's dive in. If you didn't see it, Random Gaming in HD actually made a video on the E9173 a month ago. Both the E9173 and the E9260 are both a really nice low profile card that you can put in your office PC. The 9173 is close to a RX 550 and the 9260 is a cut down RX 560. Let's jump on some benchmark starting with the 9173. The 9173 only have 2 gig of memory. So we're going to test Castle Crasher, World of Warship, Biomutant and Between the Stars. Let's start with Castle Crasher, a fairly easy game to play on almost any graphic card. At 1080p, max setting, the game is running at 450 FPS, no worry there. So if you set up an office PC with that card and 4 remotes, you can play with 4 friends on a couch. Next up, we have World of Warship, another game that can be easily played on an office PC with an office graphic card. This time playing at 1080p, everything at medium, we are about at 40 FPS, which is more than enough for this uh, slow paced game. Next up, we have Biomintant, everything at low at 720p. The game is playable at uh, 30 FPS ish, but it can be better. It's somehow fast paced, but it's still playable. The last game for that card is Between the Stars, running at 30 FPS on 720p on medium high. Slow paced game, play really well with that office PC and that card. And that's all for the E9173, aka the RX 550. For the E9260, I'm going to benchmark 6 games 3 that I just test with the 9173 and 3 that Random Gaming HD test with the 9173. First off, we have Castle Crasher again, 1080p, everything at max, and we're hitting the 450, 460 FPS, exactly the same as the 9173, so nothing to compare. Next up is World of Warship. This time we get a huge performance boost from the card. We're playing on 1080p instead of 720, and everything is at medium high, and we get the 80 FPS. Nice. And for the last game, comparing the 9173 and the 9260, is Biomittent. This time we're playing at 1080p instead of 720p, low again, but we get at 40, 45 FPS instead of 25 to 30 FPS. If you drop at 720p, you can't even put everything at medium. Now let's compare the three games that Random Gaming in HD tried with the 9173. I've chose Cyberpunk 2077, Fortnite, and CSGO. First off is a Cyberpunk 2077, and for some reason I was getting lower FPS than Random Gaming in HD until I noticed that I was in performance instead of ultra performance. I was getting only 25-30 FPS, my mistake for the bad benchmark. Next up, let's compare Fortnite at 1080p, lowest performance mode, and we get an average of 80 FPS. That's a quite a, a improvement versus the 9173 compared to the 63 FPS from Random Gaming in HD. I won't say it's the best, but it's playable. And lastly, we have CSGO 1080p lowest. We got an average FPS of about 160, which is way better than the 106 from Random Gaming. And let's remind you, I'm playing with the i5-2500 compared to his Ryzen 7 5700G. So there it is, the card that you never heard of or slightly heard of about the 9173 and the 9260, but there's more to it. If you can put your hand on some, there's more than the 9173 on the low hand part. There's also the high hand, which include the 9260, which I just show you, and also the ultra high hand, which I wasn't able to get my hand on, like the E9565 or the E93 series. You won't find those cards on brand new or in store. They mostly come in office PC or workstation. So, how much did they cost? And is it budget enough or worth it to buy to get a new gaming PC or your office PC? I got my 9173 for 35 US dollar and 9260 for 50 US dollar. So I say it's a good-ish bar depending on what you're playing. Thanks for have come watching. See you on the next one.